Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new around here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I do appreciate all of you guys being here with me today. So let's get into our SCHD update. Now you guys know, if you do not know and you're new here, first off, welcome. My name is Shalise, I love investing and I'm just documenting my family and I's journey to financial freedom here on YouTube. So I hope that you can find some motivation. I'm not a financial advisor. I do share real numbers, I do share the accounts, just to provide you with that extra push um, to help you to get started on your investing journey. I don't want investing to be scary um, or to be, you know, hectic or anxiety producing. It really shouldn't be when you do it right. So I hope that you will go on and like, share and subscribe and join us on this journey, okay? So SCHD. It's time for our May update of SHD. We hit a couple of milestones with this. I'm going to talk to you about it in today's video. Um, but you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, I love SHD. Now, you know my favorite monthly paying dividend ETF is Jebby. But outside of that, my favorite just ETF really is SCHD and VTI. Um, but it's like a, a tie between those two. But I really do love SCHD. This is the Charles Swap US Dividend ETF. So this is a fund. Like Jeppy is a fund. VTI is a fund. VOO is a fund. SCHD is a fund. So first off, we're already kind of diversified. SCHD has over 100 companies inside of it. So some of your favorites like Pepsi and Coke and Home Depot, United Health, all those good companies are inside of there. So that's great. Um, Jet, uh, SCHD also pays every quarter. So for times a year once a quarter so their next dividend payment is in june so one of my little strategies i like to use is if i know a dividend is going a dividend company or fund will be paying the following month like for example in june and may i'm going to be trying to increase my share size why because then my dividend payment will be bigger in june right so again this is about being strategic when it comes to our investing um but yeah i wanted to share so we are at and you will see it up on your screen this is my little whiteboard right here <laughs> You can see it up on your screen. So we currently have 300. I'm looking at my laptop, by the way. We currently have 350.25 shares of SCHD. Um, now, I think the last update I did, we had about 200 shares. So you're like, wait a minute, Shalise, how did y'all go from, you know, 200 shares to 150 shares? We got a bonus. So I can tell you, we took some out for like to have a little date night. Um, we gave money, some money away because it's always good to pay it for, right? Um, we saved some, but we invested most of it and we put some money into SHD. So now we have 350.25 shares. And what that means is that, um, our market value is now at about, I would say 25. I'm just rounding. You see it up on your screen. Let's just say $25,000, but we are down though. We are down about 5%. Why? Because the market is down. Um, uh, there's a debt ceiling fiasco that Congress is trying to, you know, work out. Let's hopefully they can do something you know, act like adults, right? Um, and also we have inflation data that's going to be released soon. So, you know, there's a lot of fear in the market. There's so much fear, but remember the GOAT himself and uh, Warren Buffett just actually had his Berkshire meeting this past weekend. And he talked on that. You, when, every, when there's a lot of fear, when there's so much fear and every time you turn around recession or the economy is crashing, the dollar's not going to be worth anything. That is when you buy because American businesses always comes back. It's, 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 it always just does. And you want to know how the rich keeps getting richer because they're sitting on the sidelines buying while everybody is taking their money out the market. So I figure why not learn from those who walk this way <laughs> since before I was born and um, really follow the path that they have led when it comes to temperament and with investing. I don't day trade. I'm not an options trader. I'm a buy and hold for the most, most part. Investor, that means I will sell a company if management changes, if it goes in the wrong direction. I will sell it because I don't fall in love with any company. But 99% of the time, I'm a buy and hold investor. And SCHD is a part of our portfolio. So, you know, our average price is $74.84. So at the recording of this, it's about $70.49. So our short term goal is 500 shares. We would love to get 500 shares of SCHD this year. So we're about 150 and some odd shares away from our goal. 
we're going to get a nice size dividend in June because we have all of these shares and we're going to get the drip turned on. And drip just means you're going to get your dividend reinvested. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go to your settings and whatever platform you're using, and you got to manually click it over because the platform will just pay out your dividend. And you, if you want it to be reinvested, you have to manually tell it to um, do that for you. And, and the same thing, like if you want to turn the drip off and just collect your dividend, you got to go into your settings and manually click it off. Okay. But it's not hard to find at all. Um, but yeah, 500 shares by the end of this year. I think we can do it. Like, I think we can do it. I really do like this fund. They did uh, some um, changes in terms of the fund, the stocks that they had inside of it. They had a lot of like um, banking stocks and, you know, the banking stocks fell <laughs> because of the SVB and just a lot of the regional banks and all of that. But um, I like what they did so far. And that's another thing is that I like when a stock or a company or fund sees a problem and they go and they fix it right away because there's no perfect company whether it's tesla amazon even a fund vti schd jeppy there's no perfect fund or perfect stock otherwise everybody would be in it and there would be like a zillion millionaires or a zillion billionaires there's no perfect um security but what i love is that when a fund manager of a, a, a fund like schd for example they saw you know what we're, we're too leveraged in banks so let's sell some of those banks and add some other companies and again you may not agree with all of their decisions which is why there's hundreds of etfs and hundreds of index funds and mutual funds so find what works for you and then just you know if you if you love it build up your share sizes so that hopefully you can get that dividend and that growth and so yeah i really do love schd it's really good for um growth as well so a lot of the companies inside of it grow over time they have long track records um and so i really do like that about schd um, i'm also considering getting some for my children now my children have like a lot of the safe stuff like vti and then they have a couple of stocks like disney they have apple um amazon google tesla and i think one other one but for the most part they have funds in their portfolio um but i'm thinking of adding an, another fund and that's schd um, because again it's a dividend paying etf and um it's a fund which i love and it will provide some more i would think like safety to their money as well right because we want to help them to have a head start in life now we're trying we're not going to retire our children I think the idea is to give them a head start into their future. You know, when they're 21 or 25 and they need, you know, some help with a down payment or they need some help with a wedding or something like that. I would love to be able to help them with that so that they don't have to take on debt um, to, you know, to have these life experiences. That's just me. OK, personal finance is personal. Family business is, is personal as well. Uh, but it's just something that we want to do. I wished I had something like that when I was 21, 25 to just help us out a little bit. But when you're the first to do it, you have, you know, history. You have those memories of how it felt to not have. And so that's why we're trying to give our children um, a leg up. So do you guys own SCHD? Let me know down below. Do you like SCHD? If so, um, do you own it? And if you want to share, how many shares um, do you have? And what's your goal amount? So I shared with you guys 500 shares is um, our goal amount. So that probably will be about maybe somewhere between 38 and $41,000 ish total we will have there. But again, I love building up our share sizes. If you're looking to track your dividends, okay? So I'm a big on tracking. I love tracking things. Um, check out the dividend tracking book that I have. Many of you have it already. You love it. I've gotten lots of feedback. It's so easy and simplistic in design on purpose. So all you're doing is writing your dividends, how many shares you've gotten, the accountants in, and what the amount was. And if you turned on your drip, which is your dividend reinvesting. It's just tracking so you can see over time, yes, in a down market, you still get your dividends. Now, companies can cut dividends or pause dividends, but I choose not to live my, you know, my investing life in fear. That's why I'm always checking in with our um, investments so that I would know, okay, this company changed direction. This company did this or that. But overall, I've had really good experiences with dividends. I track it here on the channel so you all see it. <laughs> um, and so, you know, I have been enjoying it so far. So even with the market craziness, those dividends still come through every single month. I think year to date, just in taxable accounts alone, not 401ks, not Roths, not the C, not the HSA, not none of that, just our taxable accounts alone. 
we've gotten, you'll see it up on your screen. I was thinking $1,600 so far year to date, but it's probably a little bit more than that. You'll see it up on your screen. But again, not financial advice. It's just I'm sharing with you our journey to grow our portfolio um, and to hopefully build it for reliable um, income down the line. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you will go on and subscribe if you found some value into this video. Like it. Please make sure you leave me a comment down below. If you want some more like day-to-day -day type of content, check me out over on Instagram. I really am active in my stories over there and I put posts up over there and I sometimes go live over there. So if you want to check me out over there, make sure you do that. I have several private groups. I also have private portfolio clients. So if you need someone just to chat with like, girl, can you just look at the stocks I'd have? Do you look at my spreadsheet? Am I on the right track? Why do you, if you want to just ask me a bunch of questions, all that is available on my website, mt1finance.com. But again, guys, thank you so much for being here. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.